Hey everybody, Jimmy once again. Time for another holiday review. This time here on the Gaming Gadget Grader we have the Power Mat 2X. This is the two slot Power Mat. Obviously you can tell by the little circles there that this will take two devices. So let's take a quick trip around this thing. There's not much to this, but obviously you can see the other things around it. The only thing going on here is the power right there, and that is this cable right here. So that's out of the way. We also got the included, uh, excuse me, with the two with the two place mat, you get one what they call a power cube. And this power cube right here uh, will go onto the device. It's magnetic and uh, we'll get that noise that everybody likes. We'll play that for you here in a second. But the power cube has this uh, attachment on it here. It's just a mini USB. And then included with it, you get a bag of other tips that will go on there. Uh, we saw this before with the uh, the Targus charger, uh, but you get included tips for uh, other sorts of devices. There's a, a tip for iPods and iPhones right here. Uh, other other cell phones. Uh, there's Samsung attachments and things like that. Uh, but you also get uh, this is the BlackBerry. This is the Micro uh, industry standard. You'll see this on a lot of cell phones. So um, you get this tip included as well. This will be the one that you use probably more often if you don't have an iPhone or anything like that. So uh, there's a look at there, that tip. And then uh, this one is for uh, Samsung devices. If you are familiar with those, right there. Now those all go uh, individually. Uh, by the way, this is for the Nintendo, the DS's, right there. Now if you uh, see right here, so this tip goes on and it will go on to this and allow you to, I'm trying to look through the camera, sorry, allow you to make the connections to your devices. So there's your power cube. This is useful, but it also doesn't make it wireless. Um, and we'll talk about that here in a second. They also gave me, this is the iPod iPhone adapter uh, dock. And this is kind of a, this is a solution to what a lot of people had uh, issues with is the uh, battery pack that went on the physical back of the iPod. So it would go onto the back and then connect here. And that allowed you to put it down and charge it like that but it made the device so heavy, and, and that's the case with a lot of devices that have the included battery back, is it makes them so heavy and big that you probably don't want to carry it that way. So this is a solution for iPods and iPhones, so you can do that if you so choose. Uh, here's the bag that the tips came in. There's another tip I'm missing in there. Uh, this is for Sony, so this is for your PSP. Uh, so that comes with it as well. Uh, and then there's this uh, tip holder, which won't hold all the tips, but if you're planning on traveling, don't want to take all of them with you, you could take this. All right, now let's talk about how this thing works. All right, we got it plugged in now. You see that white light means that we're working, and now time for this, the, the sound everybody likes. Now, the only problem with this thing is, of course, the, um, you get to the price, which a lot of people have issues with. Uh, this, everything you see right here, it's the dock, uh, the two placement dock with the power cord, power cube, excuse me, $80 for this right now on, on powermat.com. Now you want to include this, uh, the dock, not the iPod. That's another $40. So everything you see right here is, and, and the tips, excuse me, uh, that's $120. Now is it worth it to have wireless charging for $120? I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be really, really hard on this. A lot of people on other review sites and a lot of people online are, are dissing the power mat and they think it's, you know, it's kind of false advertising you're never going to have wireless charging. This is more like a cordless phone rather than a wireless charger. You still have to have power come to the mat and then you have to establish this connection. Is this just like any other charger that's included with your phones? Yes, and that's the problem with the devices that don't have the included battery backs. Now, the problem with the devices that include the battery backs is that the battery back is so big and bulky that a lot of people don't want to use it. Plus, it's cumbersome to put on and take off. So their solution, at least for the iPod, was the dock. And, and I like that. I think it's a good solution to that problem um, that uh, a lot of people have is they don't want to uh, have to deal with the, the battery back. And, and this is a good solution. It's, again, not truly uh, the wireless feel that you see from the commercials, but uh, it, it still will work. Now, in, in this case, the power mats, the power cube, this isn't really worth it. If you have a device that isn't 
uh, included on, on the list. Of course, you can get the, iPod, uh, the iPhone uh, with the battery back. A lot of the Android devices, you can do some of the Blackberries, most of them, but not the Storm 2. It's not really worth it. Uh, it. It is good. I mean, it, it would be nice if you don't have to plug it in. You could just plop it down. And that's kind of the whole selling point. But if your device isn't on the included receiver list and you have to use the power cube, I don't think it's worth it. And that kind of leaves it up to you. Uh, you can only charge two things at a time. You can get a, uh, a, a you can get of course the added receivers, which will run you anywhere between thirty. Uh, to forty dollars and and that could kind of make this expensive this could make it a really expensive solution but again if your device is not or does not have an included battery back where you could just place it on here and charge it I don't think it's worth it for you uh, it, it's kind of hard for me to, uh, to to gauge that because you know I don't have a device that's included I can't really tell how great it is now is it a good charger yeah it'll charge uh, my storm was dead and I charged it full in about an hour and 20 minutes. iPod was dead and I charged it in 45. So it's a decent charger. I really I really like it uh, from a charging standpoint. It works, but man is it pricey. The, the mat itself is $80. All you get is this included power cube, uh, which will work on pretty much any of your devices. But at that point, why have it? Because you already have wall chargers for it. Uh, and you all you have to make the connection. The, the whole idea behind this was not having to plug in the device every every night, every evening, every time you want to charge it. And with the power cube, you have to still do that. On the positives, yeah, you got to like the cool noise. Um, I mean, that's a big selling point. I know a lot of people think that that's uh, that's a cool thing. Uh, you see the indicator lights down here again. That means that you are charging. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think it helps you save on space, especially if you do uh, space and wires, especially if you do have the included battery backs. And if I have an iPhone uh, or, or even an iPod, I would prefer to get the adapter rather than having the big battery back uh, because from what I've read and a lot of the battery backs, it's a big case that actually covers up uh, your headphone jack slot so you can't use anything that's angled or curved. You have to use straight shot headphone uh, connection, so you won't be able to use uh, any headphones that have a 90 degree angle uh, slot for that. Now, breaking it down as a, as a charger, it works. I, I like it. I, I think it's a good charger and a good uh, space saver. Obviously, I didn't have a good chance to gauge the space saving and the convenience of placing it down like that, but I could tell you that everything you see here, device is not included for $120. I don't think it's worth it. I, I really, I really don't. I think that this is the start of something. It's again not true wireless charging. It's more like a cordless phone. But this is the start of something good that that may, you know, as they make more receivers, they make more uh, battery backs, they make different um, uh, different mats. Of course, they've gone portable uh, with their new foldable one you could take with you. This is still an expensive solution. If this come down, if this were to come down in price. Uh, maybe half as much it is now. It might make a little more sense, but the things you see in front of you, if you are in a similar situation as me where you have a phone that's not included on the list, does not have a battery back, I just can't, uh, I can't suggest it for you. So do your research, figure out if it's right for you, figure out if your device is on the list, figure out if you really need it slash want it, and then gauge it for you. For me, it doesn't make a lot of sense, and that's why I'm going to have to knock it uh, that's only for me. Keep that in mind. My grade is for my situation, and that's why you clicked on the video here. But again, as for me, it doesn't make a lot of sense with the two devices that I have, the iPod Touch and the BlackBerry Storm 2. It doesn't make a lot of sense for me, but do your research. It might work for you, and that unfortunately is why we're giving the C Plus here. This is the Power Mat two times with the Power Cube and the non-included iPod adapter. Thank you for watching and clicking on the Game & Gadget Grader.